tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. My, my, own, my own journey was actually that uh, uh, I was happy that I was uh, invited by UP to teach. But the, the thing is, I was already working with the Cultural Center of the Philippines, so I couldn't take on a, a full-time position. And I really worked with government for, beginning with, with the CCP, I worked with government for almost 20 years. And so I could only be uh, in the faculty of, uh, of various schools, uh, either as a part-time or in, in, in the case of St. Scholastica's College, I was at, at the best a half-time professor. No? So, uh, yeah. And it's only now that, in a sense, I was able to take on uh, more responsibilities in the academe because I'm freelance. No? I, I've been doing freelance yeah. work. And um, if I may just uh, tell you the story of how I, I got into Mint, no? uh, yeah. is that Mint in, in Taguig is, is beside the... Uh, the, the Venice Piazza and and you know that area th there are office buildings in that area and um, and I think that I came from a meeting with a client uh, in in that area and with with the, my uh, with my uh, partner at the time for the for the project and we were crossing the bridgeway and I bumped into the late Eugene Villaluz and so oh. kumusta ka yeah and and yeah Eugene Right. And, uh, and you know, so what are you doing here? I said, I, I, I came from a client meeting. Tapos sabi niya, he came from Mint. And then, uh, and he said he was the head of music and theater at Mint. Ah, okay. And then, so okay, we, we, we separated, we parted. And then suddenly he turned back. Sabi niya, Dennis, would you like to teach at Mint? Sabi niya, ganun. I said, sure. <laughs> so I go, sure. And it turns out that he was doing, he was head of music, business management, and theater only because there was nobody uh, who was qualified or was available to, to handle theater. Uh, it's really true that uh, you wear a lot of hats, Dennis. And I, I know that for sure. Because uh, you, aside from uh, being on top of like uh, the marketing of CCP, and being artistic director of uh, Tangalang Filipino, your your association with other so with other groups like Phil Stage can be very very demanding. We right? now have a, a subject called production management, uh, where we include event management as part of the topics discussed. No, so production no, no, no. management, so it's production management, not just for a theater production, but all types of no, uh, yes. events. Yeah. yeah, that's great. And, and you realize, and you realize, and this is something that my, my mentor, the late Tony Mabesa, was always saying, we can never have enough of the classics. The reason they're classics yeah. is because there is something that anybody, uh, even if you don't know theater at all, but uh, when you read it or watch it or watch the production of, 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 uh, of a play, uh, one of the classics, particularly those in Europe that we don't normally get to see much of because yeah. Much of our theater fair is, uh, aside from our regular uh, Filipino productions, are productions of hits from West End and Broadway and almost yeah. always in the English language. So the plays so, in Teatro Europa, I have to say, though, are going to be performed in English, but at least they are translations of works by other playwrights other than the American or English playwrights. And I keep saying that, of course, you cannot go against what your, your, your parents want for you. Uh, the best that you can do is to talk to them about it but uh, in the end if you're still under their influence and direction of course you have to to follow your 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 parents but i'd like to state uh, a case for arts education and it's been proven that arts education is not only something that completes the human spirit and the and and brings out the humanity in all of us but it's been proven that the skills you learn in arts education are skills that you bring to outside everything outside the, uh, everything that you do outside so for example forbearance tolerance communication discipline these are things that are matter of factly things that are required of anybody who undertakes arts education and these are the same things that we need in our society right now we need more tolerance we need more forbearance we need more communication we need more humanity more and so humanity. Uh, yes. right and so if if there's anything that i'd like to say uh, just just not to look too unkindly on arts education yeah. because for all you know it's what keeps us being human in this age of uh, 
pandemic and in this age of intolerance and of this age of apathy of this age of uh, uh, of, of a lot of uh, uh, what's the word for it when when, uh, um, when when people have the temerity to and impunity to do things that normal human beings would not do if they were better human beings in the first place yes. And, uh, Stay tuned for the next episode Only here on Z81 Radio Manila